All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an exciting project for you here that I've been wanting to do for many years, ever since we built our home. I'm going to add the necessary connections to hook up our portable generator to our whole house 500 gallon propane tank. So here we have a US carburation type C kit that allows our generator to run off propane and natural gas while still having the ability to use gasoline. I installed this several years ago in a previous YouTube video. Now the next step here is having the option to hook our generator into our larger house propane tank. Some of this work I can do myself, but when it comes to working on the house connections for the propane, I'm gonna contract out the work through our local gas distributor. In starting out, I'm actually going to remove and reuse a large section of these fittings currently attached to the governor regulator. I'll have the gas company reinstall this section when they plumb in a new inlet for gas service. I'm going to use a variety of fittings to adapt from 3 quarter inch to 3 eighths. All my connections will use pipe sealant for an airtight seal. For replacing parts, I'm using a 3 quarter inch reducer to a 3 eighths nipple and finishing off with a female gas rated quick connect. I actually ended up switching the female quick connector to a male end due to safety reasons which I'll explain at the end of this video. This is the regulator that the gas company has installed. I believe it is the second of two regulators that decreases pressure so appliances can be used. Now here's a remove section that I asked the propane company to reinstall. I did set up a meeting with one of the gas technicians who said he would be able to reuse as is. The technician will install a cross allowing for two new connections, one for the new quick connect inlet for the generator and another inlet to potentially bring gas to our new deck. Propane is considered a high pressure gas and lowered by the use of regulators. The regulator on this hose reduces pressure from a small gas bottle to useful levels for devices and appliances. I will not need this smaller regulator on the hose when using with the in-ground propane tank since pressure is already being reduced by existing regulators. The next step in the process is testing my connections by putting pressure in the hose and checking all the fittings with soapy water. If there are bubbles, then connections need to be done again to make sure there are no gas leaks. All connections look good here, so it's now time to work on the hose connections as well as a dongle for any gas bottles. I will be adding a quick connect to these fittings to create a dongle so I can continue to use gas bottles when the need arises. In the next couple of clips I install quick connects to both the hose and gas bottle fittings. As mentioned before, I did eventually switch out the male quick connect on the hose to a female connect. One more bubble test and generator run and we are good to go with this part of the project. Now since shooting this video, I went ahead and made two changes for the order of connections. On the hose itself, I previously had two male ends but ended up replacing one with a female connection. In a very rare chance that the connections were to come apart from the hose and generator, the female end would stop any propane from coming out. The generator connection was changed to a male end to accept the female connect. I added the shutoff before that in case I ever use the generator with gasoline. I can close off the propane connect and prevent any air or vacuum leak in the carburetor. Alright guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm very excited about this project and hooking up our propane generator to our whole house propane supply. With this new setup, we'll be able to access our 500 gallon propane tank and use our generator for an extended amount of time and not have to deal with gas bottles. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, and stay tuned for part 2 coming up soon.